is Our Eye on the EU, Interalia's outlook on EU affairs through different lenses. The European Parliament has voted to finally adopt the new Pact on Migration and Asylum. The emphasis on externalizing border control and reliance on deals with third countries raises red flags, as this approach may prioritize deterrence over protection and lead to violations of asylum seekers' rights. Moreover, the opt-out mechanisms for solidarity and lack of concrete support for foreign states risk exacerbating inequalities and undermining the principle of burden sharing. The adopted pact is the result of a dystopic right-wing-led normalization of migrant oppression. This is not only about migration policies, but also about the EU social fabric. Criminalizing migration means, among other things, a deepening of inequalities, racism and precariousness in paid and unpaid work. The European Youth Week took place in Brussels, promoting youth engagement and participation in view of the next EU elections. Engaging youth in political decision-making not only strengthens democracy, but also ensures that diverse perspectives and priorities are represented in policy-making. However, it is essential that such initiatives go beyond symbolism and lead to concrete actions and outcomes that address the concerns and aspirations of young people. This includes opportunities for meaningful participation and addressing crucial issues such as youth unemployment, education accessibility and climate change. Only two out of 750 members of the European Parliament are under 30 years old. Directly engaging young people with decision makers is crucial, but it must not fall into tokenism. Not only young people need to have more opportunities to actively shape policies, but they should have access to cover high-level decision-making positions themselves. The European Parliament adopted new internal procedures, allowing an enhanced scrutiny power over the Commission's work. Granting the Parliament greater oversight powers aligns with the liberal principles of transparency, checks and balances and promotion of democratic governance. It strengthens the role of elected representatives in holding the executive branch accountable for its actions and decisions, while representing the interests of European citizens. However, it would be essential that these enhanced scrutiny powers respect the separation of powers and the rule of law. After a legislative term full of scandals within institutions, public scrutiny over the Commission's work is more and more obstructed. Oversight tools like citizens' petitions or MEPs' questions often remain unanswered or receive generic responses that avoid addressing the essence. Democracy is weakened because meaningful participation, accountability and trust are under threat.